So as of right now, there's only one true place that we know of where intelligent life exists, and that's our home planet. Or that's what we've been told to believe. Mankind's never-ending search for alien life doesn't seem to be coming to an end anytime soon. Until we know the true answer, it's important to come up with a few guesses before spending the time and money to investigate. Just in 2019 alone, 146 exoplanets have been discovered. They've been able to do so using infrared techniques, primarily by radial velocity measurements and transit monitoring systems. Which basically means there could be aliens. Here are planets that could sustain life. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm your host, American Eye, keeping an eye on everything you want to know. Now make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, or the aliens will abduct you. Number 11, Proxima Centauri b. Astronomers find new solar systems in our galaxy all the time, but as of right now, there's at least 500 that we know about. So what are the odds that we find a planet similar to ours in our own galaxy? Pretty good, actually, and scientists believe that they've actually found an exoplanet that appears to have the potential to be just like Earth. It's within a Goldilocks zone, which basically means a part of the solar system that's not too close to the sun, yet not too far away for it to support life. This planet orbits a star that's roughly 46 million miles away from it, which is roughly twice as close as Earth is to the sun. However, this star is actually a lot less powerful than the sun, which makes it okay. A team of scientists collaborated and believe they've spotted some signs of oxygen, water vapor, and even methane. Number 10. Wolf 1061c This planet is currently orbiting within a habitable zone of a host star that goes by the name of Wolf 1061. This is located all the way in the constellation of Ophicuus, about 13.8 light years away. It makes it the fifth closest known habitable planet from Earth. It would still definitely take a long time to get there though, but maybe not for aliens who might live there? It's definitely classified as a super-Earth exoplanet due to its radius measuring more than 1.5 times the size of our planet. This place is thought to be extremely rocky, with a dense mass about 4.3 times as heavy as our planet. It's also believed that gravity here could be more extreme, making the potential aliens more muscular in order for them to move around effectively. Since it's so close to a host star, only one side is going to face the star, while the other side is permanently dark. This is certainly one notable difference from Earth. You'll also need an extreme telescope to be able to see the host star, since the star is too dim to see with the naked eye. Number 9. Ross 128b Our next place where aliens might be hiding is a planet known as Ross 128b, which is about the size of Earth. It rotates around a red dwarf star known as Ross 128, which is about 11 light years away from us. It was discovered using radial velocity data collected by the European Southern Observatory, which has a pretty advanced spectrograph. The surface of Ross 128b is thought to be primarily rocky and receives an estimated 38% more sunlight than our planet. But in any case, the temperature here is thought to be warm enough to support liquid water on the surface, which is definitely an indicator that life could be suitable. It's been considered to be one of the most Earth-like planets ever discovered in regards to temperature and size. The next goal in determining how suitable life here would be to examine it with a James Webb telescope. If chemicals such as oxygen and ozone are present, it's very possible. No one knows for sure just yet if it has an atmosphere due to a lack of a visible transit in front of the host star. Number 8. Kepler 22b Imagine a planet similar to Earth that was twice the size of Earth but almost completely covered in water. Scientists don't know exactly for sure if this one has liquid water because it's about 620 light years away, but it seems very possible. This was discovered by the Kepler Space Telescope in 2011 and also appears to be in the right exact location of a habitable zone. The composition of what the planet is made up of hasn't been fully determined yet and no one knows exactly if life is possible here. The striking blue color would lead many amateurs to believe that it's full of water, and because of the distance, it probably isn't like Neptune, where the gases are what causes the blueness. Number 7. The Exoplanet Solar System Also known as TRAPPIST-1, this is a solar system that has an ultra-cool star that's located in the Aquarius constellation. It's cool enough to find one planet that's capable of supporting life, but imagine an entire solar system of a total of four different Earth-like planets all lined up right next to each other. It's certainly reality, and in 2017, not just one or two Earth-like planets were discovered, but an astonishing total of four exoplanets, all orbiting the small star named TRAPPIST-1. This solar system is located about 40 light years away. Just in case you were wondering, that's about 235 trillion miles away from planet Earth. So we probably won't be making any contact with any life forms that could live there, just yet. 
Is it truly possible though that not one of these four planets could sustain some kind of life? It almost seems to defy all odds that there was no life there. Number 6. Kepler 186f Astronomers aren't always too creative when it comes up with planet names, and they once again called this place Kepler after the telescope that found it, but this time they gave it a different number. This one is one of the first exoplanets NASA discovered, and it's about three times closer to the star than Earth is to the Sun. Once again, we don't know the details of the atmosphere or what the weather is like here, but we do know it's in perfect location for life. If it were to have a rocky surface, it would have similar gravity to Earth. They tend to believe that the surface is indeed rocky, and the M dwarf star Kepler-186 has been around long enough for life to possibly develop. Since it's somewhat further out in the Goldilocks zone, the water here could be frozen, but since it's larger, the atmosphere could be thick enough to keep the planet warmer. If only we had a spaceship to get us there 490 light years away, maybe we can find the aliens hiding there. Number 5. K218b just recently in 2019, scientists from London have confirmed that they actually found water vapor on this distant planet. This is the first time that it's been 100% confirmed as opposed to speculation. It's located about 110 light years away from us and is estimated to be about two times the size of Earth. The scientists were also able to determine that the planet was the correct temperature and the atmosphere was there to sustain life. By looking at how light travels through it, they were able to determine that the atmosphere was similar to ours. The scientists haven't determined whether or not the planet was rocky or icy or if there were signs of life. Once the James Webb Telescope is available in 2021, it may be able to discover some answers about if we're all alone or not. Number 4. Mars Despite the popular belief of many scientists, others are still quite hopeful that Mars could support some kind of life form, or could have hosted life at some point in time. Despite our usage of the Mars rover, we've only explored a very small percentage of the red planet. Looking for life is certainly no easy task there, and our rovers just give us a very generalized outlook on what's on the surface. Nonetheless, the Mars rover has picked up mysterious images like this photo that some people claim to be a crab. Who knows if there are life forms below the surface or if they're able to survive in places on Mars where the temperature could be warmer. NASA geologists at the University of Aberdeen announced recently that Mars found the element of hydrogen which is necessary for life. The hunt for life on Mars will continue, and maybe the planet right next to us could have aliens. Number 3. TRAPPIST-1D Located within the TRAPPIST solar system that we previously mentioned, this one is one of the closer planets to the star which it orbits. This exoplanet was found using the transit method, where the dimming effect occurs that a planet causes and is spotted across the front of a star. This also helps determine the radius, which can therefore determine density, surface gravity, and composition. It's believed here that there's a large quantity of water and possibly 250 times more than Earth, according to some estimates. It receives about the same amount of irradiation as Earth and is about the same temperature as well. Travis 1D would also be the third rock from the star, similar to planet Earth. It also does not have a hydrogen-based atmosphere, which would make it uninhabitable. This could certainly be one of the more Earth-like planets on this list. Number 2. Captain B this exoplanet is found within the habitable zone of another red subdwarf, which is located about 12.8 light years away. The planet would have a bigger radius than Earth, yet smaller than Uranus or Neptune. The solar system that has been found in has been around for 11 billion years, which definitely makes it more possible for life to develop. With the correct atmospheric conditions, liquid water may certainly exist, although it's not confirmed. The main depend on whether it exists or not is if it has enough CO2. But before we get to our number one, where would you like to explore to find out if they're aliens? Let us know in the comments section and maybe we'll feature you in an upcoming video. And number one, Tea Garden C. As of July 2019, this is the fourth closest exoplanet from planet Earth, located about 12 light years away. It was discovered just recently in June of this year as the outermost planet of its solar system. It's very similar to Earth based on its size and mass, which has led many to believe that it also has Earth-like characteristics. This means the inside of the planet is most likely made of an iron core with a rocky crust. Some believe the temperatures here are still too low at negative 47 degrees Celsius to support a big population of aliens. But that doesn't mean that animals or bacteria couldn't survive here. Some theorize that Tea Garden C might have a frozen ocean. So did you guys make it to the end of the video? Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.